Yo, what's going on guys? Hanging Hunt Outdoors here. And in today's video, we're going to be going over um, veins. Veins for building arrows. Um, there are a bunch of different options and I just wanted to go over some of them with you because um, I am a tinkerer. I tinker with my setup all the time. And I'm constantly trying different veins out and just impulse buying them really. My old setup, which was the uh, Black Eagle Rampages. These were 300 spine. Uh, 200 grains up front, um, 100 grain insert, and 100 grain field point. And then I ran a three fletch of the boning heat veins. And then this is just an Easton knock that I had sitting around that fit it pretty well. Um, but this one's a cracked one actually, so I can't shoot this one unfortunately. But uh, that was my old setup. My new setup, uh, these just came in the mail today. I'm going to be shooting the Easton four millimeter um, axis long range these are the match grade ones so super stoked to get these things built um, however i cannot build them right away now that i have new arrows i figured i might as well dabble with another set of veins because everybody knows peeling 36 veins off of 12 arrows or more uh, that gets pretty aggravating so um the first set of arrows i ever had was the five millimeter axis and i ran these these are the aae max stealth veins um, these things were perfectly fine um, they flew really well um so yeah 2.6 length uh half inch tall and the base of these it has a pretty decent base for um good adhesion to the arrow which I really do like and because this is the uh, max models all of their their veins that are labeled max um, they're gonna be a little bit of a stiffer material compared to the non max veins that they carry um, it's a little bit stiffer than a blazer I would say just just a tiny bit uh, more stiff and more rigid more rigid than a like standard blazer. Now, uh, why you would want a more rigid vein is because um, one, it's gonna make less noise. So the more rigid the vein, the less noise it makes because um, as this is going through the air and the turbulence of the wind is gonna cause that vein to flutter. And everybody knows you get speakers in your car, vibration creates noise that flutter is a vibration and it's going to create a noise while the arrow is flying. Um, and actually I'm pretty sure there's videos out there. If you shoot an arrow past a camera, you can actually hear it go zoom while it goes by. So, um, the stiffer the vein, generally the less noise that it's going to make, uh, as it goes by, just because it's less affected by the turbulence of the wind while it's flying through the air. So, um, yeah, that's why people prefer it. Um, also, it can help with speeds downrange because it has less resistance going against it. Um, it doesn't slow the arrow down nearly as much as a like soft vein or feathers would. So um, yeah, that's the AAE Max Stealth veins, 2.6 inches in length, half inch in height, pretty solid base there to glue down to the arrow. And uh, all in all, yeah, this thing's good vein um, I ran them shot super accurate with them the only thing that I don't like about them is that um, I had one pass through it was like right over the top of the arrow I mean uh, top of the target excuse me and um, I took this thing out and my vein was doing one of those um, it was like a giant wave and uh, it didn't matter what I did I took heat to it um, I took uh, steam to it and nothing seemed to fix the vein um, nothing seemed to make it return back to its original state so that's the only kind of thing that I didn't like about these when I did shoot them is that um, they kinda they, they didn't hold their shape that well when it came to pass throughs and things like that if I left them in my quiver and they bent over next to another arrow or something like that um, if they stayed there for a while um, they, they have memory. It holds its shape. Um, so that kind of sucks. Also, one thing that people might not like about these is that um, they require the little AAE primer pen in glue. I mean, you don't have to use the glue. You can use any glue. But um, they do require this little guy here. They require this right here, which is just their primer pen. You just open it, shake it up, 
put a bead over the base of the vein and that just gets it uh, it removes some sort of like um, film I guess and they just activate it so that it will accept glue don't know if I will be running these again um, next up on the list um, these are the boning heat veins now these are two and a half inches in length and I believe these are pretty close to a half inch in height too yep so you can buy these all the veins that I'm going to be showing you today you can buy in a 100 pack which is what I prefer so yeah these are two and a half inches in length and about a half inch tall I don't remember what the actual measurement is there but um, these heat veins are also um, very rigid these ones are extremely rigid I don't know if you can see that but compared to the um, max stealth these actually make a noise when they spring back up and um, they're almost like hard to to flex it's kind of hard to explain but um, uh, basically again what that's gonna help with is um, noise downrange as well as um, speed downrange um, the stiffer the vein the more quiet it's going to be and uh, the less speed it's gonna steal from your arrow the further you get downrange um, just because there's less drag or same amount of drag less resistance basically so um yeah the channel on this is also pretty good pretty generous uh to to really grip onto that arrow it's pretty good um i would say it's probably got like an eighth inch channel on the bottom there to to stick to the arrow which is nice um these you do not need that primer pen that i was just showing so you don't have to get the primer pen and wipe it every single time you want to stick it to an arrow shaft you just, um, what I like to do is get some alcohol, put it on a bounty or a paper towel, and I'll just run it across the, the paper towel before I stick it on there just to get any oil from my fingers off of the um, channel. And then they stick right to the arrow, and I'll do the same things to the arrow ends, and they um, stick very well. So those are the boning uh, heat veins. Um, one gripe that I do have is I found that these also kind of have just like the tiniest bit of memory and it can get annoying because um my dad would he puts these in his bow case uh in the little notches for the arrow notches in his bow case and um i noticed that when i took these out they did have a little curl towards the top of the vein just because the way they pressed up against his bow case which it's gonna happen, but um, they didn't really work out. They just stayed curled over, no matter how much heat or no matter how much steam I, you know, put these under. They didn't return back to their original state. So those are the boning heat veins. Now I'm going to talk about these guys right here, which I really, really like. Um, haven't used so far, so I can't give you exact details on how they perform. But um, just based off of opening the package and um, you know, feeling them, these things are crazy. So these are the two and three quarter inch um, tack driver veins. Um, they're half inch tall, I believe. And uh, yeah, these things have a really, really nice shape to them. I like this little shield cut because that's going to make it better in um, the wind with left to right um, you know, variables when it comes to wind uh, because just the way I don't know exactly how shield cuts work. Um, and then the channel here is very nice. You get a big channel there, uh, probably just as much as the bonings. And uh, it's just going to allow for really good adhesion to the arrow shaft. And then um, the stiffness of this vein is where it really shines. So if you guys can see there, that is like almost a hard plastic. It is so hard to describe how stiff that these veins actually are. I'm pretty sure that these were close to like six grains. So um, super light still. These are on the pricier side. I think this was $29.99 for a pack of 100. Um, they do come in a pack of 100. Um, so a little bit on the pricey side compared to other veins on the market. But uh, depending on how they shoot, I haven't been able to shoot them yet. But I got a good feeling about these and the way that I've seen them shoot, these things 
are tack drivers, go figure. One thing that's kind of a con about these is that you do have to prime the channel there to stick it onto the arrow, which is kind of annoying, but then again, the AAEs, the Max Stealths, and, and any of the Max line, um, also too, you have to prime them. So, I mean, it's nothing new, it's nothing, you know, out of our way. We're all used to that by now, if we've been shooting anything other than the boning veins. I'm assuming that you'd be able to use the AAE primer pens because that's what I'm going to be using. Um, I'm sure that all the primer pens are the same exact blend of the same exact ingredients uh, and the same exact pen body, just different manufacturers put their stickers over them. So um, I'm not really too worried about using an AAE pen on a tack vein, but um, I was running low on my Max Stealth glue or my Max Bond glue. So um, I did get the tack glue just to try different things because you know, you never know. Um, this tack glue might hold better than those or vice versa. This might fall off with the first pass through of a target. So um, it all depends. I'm just trying to tinker and experiment with different brands here and not really, you know, tunnel vision down to one. But um, yeah, that's the tack driver vein. I'm super excited to uh, try these out, um, super stiff. And um, I did watch one review on these from um, Inside Out Precision, and he said that um, he did have like a little bit of a wave in it uh, after he shot it and got like a pass through through a target, but he was able to take these and put them over uh, boiling water with the steam, and uh, it expanded and it went right back to its original shape. So. Um, if that's the case, that's a plus, and uh, that, that would make me really happy because it's less fletching you have to do when you uh, pass to a target at a 3D course. So um, those are all the veins that I have to show you today. But yeah, there will be an aero build soon for the Easton 4mm axis match grades. Um, and we'll be putting those tack veins on them and seeing how they fly. If you guys like and are interested in more videos just like these, make sure you get subscribed. We're trying to put a bunch of information out there to just help you guys and help in any which way that we can and share our knowledge. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao.